Okay, Martin, a one-all draw against a, a youthful Leeds United side. What do you make of your side's performance tonight? Yeah, and the good challenge that we needed. You know, it's, you know, whether it's a youthful Leeds or a first-team Leeds, it's a team with quality uh, that used the ball well. And uh, the exercise was great. You know, we had to work very, very hard to keep our discipline, keep our shape. And uh, that's one thing in the last two and a half games uh, that I've seen, uh, that out of possession, we've, uh, we've, we've been very, very solid. From that first half performance, I thought you, you were pretty dominant throughout. Yeah, it was good. And you say, you know, if you look at the chance in the game, we probably created two or three, four fantastic chances. Uh, and another day, you know, you, you probably just win that. You can win that game comfortably. But hey, pre-season is about sort of getting them in the Sunday belt. Yeah, we all want to score goals, but uh, equally we don't want to get beat as well. You know, I think it's important to have that that mentality of hard to beat. And uh, you know, I think what was good is that when we, when we went to one-one, we had a real good solid shape. We didn't sort of become 2-1-3-1 one, one, and the game became in their hands. We sort of stayed in the game very well and uh, probably frustrated them an awful lot and uh, they probably found it very, very hard to break us down. There was a trialist down on the team sheet, got the goal. Joe Tate, the centre-half from, from Spennymoor, what's attracted you to him and has he done enough to get a, to get a contract? He's done well tonight, he's done very well tonight. Obviously Tom allen has gone down injured uh, in pre-season and you know, it's, it's when will he be back. You know, it could be week, two, three, four weeks, who knows that. Uh, but you know, accomplishing the place is healthy, he's come in tonight and done done well. And uh, as I said, it's, uh, that's, that's what you're looking for for everybody that comes in the building. Any particular reason why you only gave him 45 minutes? Yeah, it's his first 45 minutes since probably his last season, so uh, you know he's, he's, he's trained a little bit with us, but uh, but you know the last thing I want is an injury. Alex Kempster was named man of the match. We thought he was superb down that left-hand side. Is that where you would like to, where you see him moving forward playing? He's more natural out there than maybe the, when you had to use him up front at the end of last season. I think what's great with Alex is come back with some sort of strength in his body this year. You know, I think as a centre forward last year he was bullied, he was pushed off the ball off centre halves, and you know he's, he's had a program out of the season to go away and develop, and he looks like he's now got some strength in his body and uh, getting used to full-time training. I think that's important. Uh, but like young Vinny Steele, you know the, 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 the bits of appearances that we've seen. You know the boys need their first full pre-season, uh, and that, that'll only benefit them both. He gave as many players as possible a chance. Now there's no Clovis Camdrew again in in the squad. Is there any update on his position? Yeah, you know at this moment in time we're not in a position to sort of bring Clovis in, uh, and uh, as you said, unfortunately that's just, that's where we're at this moment in time. Anyone else that you've got your eye on before the start of the season? We always look in as you, as you have to, uh, but I'm very, very happy with the squad and uh, you know, it's important that we keep everybody fit. Competition for players is very, very good. You know, it's nice that you look at your bench and it looks very strong. Saw a couple of new faces as well around, around the squad, one on the bench with you tonight. Uh, Parnaby, the former Middlesbrough player, was that correct, that was down there with you? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's part of the staff and uh, you know, he's, he comes with vast experience uh, in the strength and conditioning and uh, sort of... Uh, does a lot of work with uh, the physiotherapy side of things, so uh, you know I'm delighted with his experience and he's sort of uh, he comes from very very good stock with the family that he is. His dad Dave Parnaby, he's, uh, he's he's got a, a vast knowledge and uh, he'll only help us. You've got just just over a fortnight now until that first league game, a couple of games, one behind closed doors, and the Ilkeston game now. What's the sort of momentum? Can you see that building throughout the team, throughout the squad in pre-season? Yeah, we've still got work to do on the training ground. We've just got to keep topping up the fitness levels and the sharpness and the brightness. But I think what you're seeing at the moment is a nice little partnership starting to unveil. And uh, we've got to keep working on that. Do we take anything from the first 11 that you put on the first half tonight or not? No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. It's just about, you know, lads getting minutes and, uh, you know, 60 minutes, 70 minutes. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep looking and working with, uh, with, the, with the group of players that we have. Great. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.